Hello again, Russell Mark here from Go Shooting. Today's topic is steel versus lead. We're gonna try and do a comparison test between steel competition shot shells as opposed to lead ones. There's an ongoing debate about this topic. I'm sure some people will have an opinion on it. Let's see if we can prove some facts. We're going to compare them today in three different tests. First of all, pattern diameter at 30 meters, then penetration power at 35 meters, then performance energy at 60 meters. So let's start with our pattern diameter test. I'm going to use a European seven and one half shot in both lead and steel with shot shells that are doing 1250 feet per second out of a shotgun that has a half or modified choke. I'll sight the gun in at 20 metres and make sure it shoots exactly on its point of aim. And here's the proof our gun is zeroed in and throwing a genuine 50-50 pattern. First of all, our lead shot shell. So our diameter, so that's pretty much one side of it, that's the other. The diameter is 62 centimetres. Let's see how our steel shot goes. So the steel shot, I would say that's one side, that's one side. The steel shot measures 60 to 62 centimetres, really no difference. Now let's go back to 35 metres and see what the penetration power is of these two shot shells through 38 millimetres of balsa wood. Now our lead load with 3% antimony of shot will be up here in the top left corner and our steel load will be down here on the bottom right. Okay, first of all, our lead shot. Quite a few pellets. Hit the balsa wood. And just making it through. So you can see here, just a pellet struggling to get through there and there and there. Some of the pellets virtually make it right to the very last millimeter of the balsa wood. Land our steel. Quite a few pellets hitting it here. Untouched. Actually, none of them get through even the last 10 millimetres. So here's our steel. Quite a few pellets go through at the front. Through the back though, nothing makes it. We take 10 millimetres away, still nothing gets through up to 28 millimetres. The first 20 millimetres, just getting through there, one pellet embeds itself in the next board. So the penetration power of steel is vastly less than that of its lead counterpart. So now I've wiped the board clean. We'll go back to 60 metres and see what effect gravity has on these two shot shells. If you can remember back in a previous video, we did a similar test at this distance with a slightly faster shot shell. Let's see how we go with our 1250 feet a second lead shell today. Now previously we did the 60 metre test with a full choke, today's half choke is way out of range. The top of this pattern is about here, the bottom would be way down here, so it has dropped. It's probably, um, it's probably a 2080 pattern, so the effects of gravity have had some effect. Let's try our steel load. Well, no real surprises with the steel. Being a lighter weight shot, obviously it's dropped and the effects of gravity have really had an impact. The top of this pattern is virtually there. It's dropped 50% from 35 metres to 60 metres. So what conclusions can we make from today's little testing exercise? Well, at 30 metres, the diameter of the pattern proved there was no difference, but 
going back five more metres, you can see the penetration power of lead was a distinct advantage over steel. My personal opinion, I'd go to the largest steel shot size the rules allow. Some would suggest to simply tighten your choke, but be warned here, some manufacturers recommend no more than half choke when using steel shot. So would I use steel shot by choice? Well, my gut tells me there'll be no trap or sporting world records broken anytime soon with steel shot loads. For events like skeet, when the targets are up closer, probably makes no difference. The debate will continue. I hope today's little video adds some insight into the lead versus steel issue. As always, I look forward to seeing you at a go shooting range really soon.